Today we are going to learn about Joule's color limit. This experiment is used to find the specific capacity of any liquid. And what is specific capacity? Specific capacity means heat energy required to increase the temperature of 1 kg liquid through 1 Kelvin. For example, if you want to find the specific capacity of water, the specific capacity means increase the temperature by 1 degree of 1 kilogram liquid. Now we are going to learn about the experimental battery calorimeter ammeter rheostat key are connected as shown in the figure. Battery ammeter key rheostat voltmeter calorimeter are connected as shown in the figure. Then now the weight of the empty calorimeter with stirrer is measured by using the digital balance calorimeter from this uh, wooden box then find the empty calorimeter mass m1 the calorimeter is filled by liquid approximately two third for example take the water into the calorimeter and find the mass of the calorimeter and water it is taken as m2 chill temperature theta 1 measured using the thermometer now the circuit is closed using stopwatch starts at that same instant whenever the temperature reaches to theta 1 plus 5 approximately theta 1 may be 30 degree then now theta 2 exactly 35 degree so we have to find the time taken between 30 degree to 35 degree now the stopwatch will stop the fire time was noted by using the formula we have to find the specific capacity of water or any liquid shown in the voltmeter as early we have to set the rheostat current at a particular value and volt, voltage at particular value. approximately 1 volt or 1.5 volt or 1 ampere or 1.5 ampere value of voltmeter reading put it in the place V then value of ammeter reading put it in the place I had uh, find the time then put it in this place then we have known about M2 and M1. M2 means calorimeter and water. M1 means mass of the empty calorimeter. Then theta 2 approximately 35 degree we know. Theta 1 30 degree or uh, here M1 means we know M1 is the empty calorimeter mass. S1 means the specific capacity of the calorimeter. If, we, if the calorimeter made in copper then what is the specific capacity of copper put in this place. Approximately specific capacity of copper is 385. So we have to put 385 in S1. We know M2 and M1. After that we have to find the specific capacity of the water. Thank you.